Shot 8, Vinnie Jones. Now Vinnie Jones got quite a reputation as a tough guy. Look at the roles he played in Snatch and Lockstock. This guy is not to be messed with. So when I was commissioned by Hello Magazine to go and shoot him at home, I was, shall we say, a little bit apprehensive. I needn't have worried too much because he was a great professional and very helpful, but very image conscious, very aware of how he wanted to look. So after we did the shots all around the house, doing the ordinary hello type pictures of him and his wife and his family in the different rooms of the house, I had a word with him and I said, Vinny, how would you really like to be portrayed? And he said, well, I really like my countryside clothes. And so I said, okay, why don't we do this really great portrait of you as the countryman? Now he jumped at this opportunity. This is an interesting and valuable lesson, I feel. Because I paid attention to Vinny's wishes, we got this really great picture. By asking a person how they'd like to be portrayed, you're giving them a stake in the photograph. This means they're gonna go the extra mile for you to help get this great picture that they want of them. So that's how we came up with the idea. What about the lighting? Well, once again, when you're doing a shoot for something like Hello Magazine and you're having to photograph every room in the house, more or less, it's really grueling. And a big part of it is how quickly you can move from room to room with all the gear. So we had a very minimal amount of time for this shot. So it's about keeping it really simple. So what I did, I waited until the sun went down. We've got this beautiful uh, sunset background. So we jumped over the fence at the back of his house and we went into the field and we did this shot of him standing. We also did one of him sitting on a log too. And what about the lighting? Well, I used my Chimera medium softbox on my Elencrom Ranger, which I lugged over into the field. For the backlight, which you can see just on Vinny's cheek, I used an Elencrom Ranger flash again, but with a kill spill. And I used it at one stop under the main light. I'm underexposing the background by one f-stop. So I'm getting these lovely, rich colours. And I don't have to worry about all the background going dark because I'm dropping angle a little bit and I'm shooting up into the sky. So I shot this with an 80mm lens on a Hasselblad H1 with a Phase 1 P25 back. I exposed it at f11, 1 350th of a second. One of the main advantages of shooting with a medium format camera as well as the increased quality from the bigger sensor is they tend to have leaf shutters in them. This means the flash synchronizes at well above the normal synchronization speed of a digital SLR. A crucial advantage when you're doing shots like this. It does make the lenses quite expensive. So I was pleased with the shot, the client was pleased with the shot, but more importantly to me, Vinny loved the picture. He's actually a really great guy and he was very hospitable too. If you've enjoyed this video, why don't you check out the rest of the videos in the range. They're sure to help you take your photography to the next level. Thanks for watching.